This is called the Dance of Light. It's based on the ancient teachings that we're all light beings. And science also tells us that when we magnify the atoms that make our bodies, there's nothing material to them. They're made of energy, photons, and those photons are simply particles of light. That's literally the stuff that our physical bodies are made of. These A2 and A3 size ink sketches are based on the same principle, uh, that being that we're all from the same source, and we're literally, in reality, just one. It's just that we experience ourselves and the reality around us as being separate to ourselves owing to the dualistic nature of our minds. This one is the original precursor, the one that inspired the others. It was a concept sketch for a, a, a wire sculpture that I still haven't built yet and it's what snowballed into the six foot painting. This is the soul of Ho'oponopono. It's part of a triptych. Uh, the overall aim of this was to create a piece which helped heal humanity and planet Earth. Uh, the inspiration is the, the spiritual healing modality of the indigenous Hawaiians. Uh, they used Ho'oponopono. Uh, it's a very long subject to go into here, so I won't go into that. But if you do research the work of um, Dr. Hulen, you can learn much more. This is just a little fish. Um, I sculpt primarily with wire. I love using it as a medium because it's literally making something physical manifest out of nothingness. The sculpture gradually reveals itself within the emptiness of the space that I'm working in, uh, which is very much aligned with my spiritual way of being. This piece is called Self-Creation. The symbolism is that we are the creation of ourselves within an infinite loop. We are both the creation and the creator. This one's called Delicate. It's another symbolic piece, and it has a mental health theme. Uh, for me, it's very personal. It's an autobiographical piece. Uh, it points back to a much darker time in my life. And it also acknowledges that there are times that I stray back into that territory. I think we all do as humans from time to time. Emotions and feelings, very powerful things, and they can affect us very deeply and when they do that, they affect the way that we see the world around us. This is Fake Idol, my largest sculpture to date. I created it as part of an Art in Context module. Uh, I had to get permission from the Bank of England for this because it's a criminal offence to reproduce a banknote <laughs> without getting permission, um, even fake ones. I gotta say though, that if they hadn't granted me permission, I probably would have made it anyway because I am a bit of a rebel. I think as artists, it's in our nature. This is the vibration of creation. It's another spiritual piece and it's inspired by the research of Hans Jenny. He did a huge amount of work on cymatics. Um, it's now something which modern day scientists are validating, which funnily enough is 
what the mystics and the ancient sacred texts have been telling us throughout history. If you look at the videos of Hans Jenny, you get a better understanding, but essentially this sculpture is symbolic. Um, the spirals are emerging from the emptiness of space, becoming denser and creating more of a recognisable form as those concentric circles expand. And we are as much the empty space that surrounds us as the physical beings that we experience ourselves as being within the space.